all right this is going to be a little update on this queenless hive uh it's about 70 degrees out here overcast and windy but i'm going to look in that uh, queenless hive see if they're still uh making a lot of drone uh, brood and that'll tell me that that uh, small queen right hive up above it above that hardware cloth is probably not going to be strong enough to uh Send enough uh, scent through that uh, hive to stop those laying workers, and I may just uh, have to shake them out and hope for the best uh, that they don't come back and, and kill that that small queen right hive. Sometimes it's kind of hard to explain everything because I try to keep the videos short, just so uh, it takes forever for me to upload a video. Anyway, it takes you know three or four hours just to upload these short little videos probably going to be some wind noise probably going to be some bee noise once they once I open this up if the bees are still even in there I've got a little portable end table there I'm going to set this top hive on and uh, there was a question asked about some brood I put in in this uh, hive here. You know, it was a late, last minute decision. I was converting another hive to a deep over there and somehow left these uh, frames out. The bee population is probably not strong enough in here. And uh, those frames of brood might have uh, went ahead and died. There's just not enough population in this small hive. It looks like some of these other bees might have uh, came up here. These. these I put these on the outside, which normally you wouldn't do. You can kind of see there's a few more bees on here. They may uh, they may be cleaning them out, but this bottom hive there's definitely more bees in this top hive than there was. And some of these uh, may have migrated up. But I don't uh, I don't think all these uh, these bees here are the ones that have hatched. But I want to uh, I want to see if the queen is alive in here now. But she was she was marked. But if they came up here and uh, and overtook it. be the end of this hive. Cells. 
still have another box down here to, to go through. Put this clean right hide on the bottom, but I may I may leave it on the top. There's, there's room for her to go down. Step back over here so the bees would leave that microphone alone. But the, as I was saying, the uh, these other hives are building up. There's more resources that I can uh, I can use should uh, they su supersede that uh, queen and fail to raise a new queen. Uh, I still have resources now that I can use where before I didn't want to use simply because it was too early in the spring and these other hives was just starting to build up. You might uh, see some of the bees up under that uh, lid I just put. Some forage bees coming back to that hive. Hopefully they'll figure out uh, to go around to the front entrance. These are uh, attacking this microphone. I'm having to puff smoke <laughs> around and try to keep them off of it. Anyway, that's uh, that's my check on the queenless hive. We'll we'll check on it again probably in another week, depending on the weather. Got some rains coming in probably uh, next week. So it's probably going to be midweek or towards the end of the week. Mm -hmm. 